We're seeing a rise in the random crimes and we're seeing the uh, disorderly type of behavior as well and we're normalizing things just a little bit too much. So right now with the TTC, the fact that $30 billion is invested from all three levels of government, it needs to be secure. And the best way to go about it really is replicating the model that the Chief DEMQ has put on right now, utilizing the Toronto Police Service at the helm right now to help in changing the culture. Simply hiring more police officers have already proven not to be the solution. We need to be addressing what should have been done years ago, which is the root causes of violence in our society. All the evidence shows us that we need to adequately invest in our communities, into our youth, often who are at risk, who need to go down the right path in their lives and therefore supporting the safety of our communities. We need to make sure that not only do they have opportunities, but also trauma counselling and other violence intervention options to change their lives and therefore make our neighbourhoods safer. Immediate action. I think we need a coordinated and heightened presence of police, mental health workers, outreach workers, uh, our community partners on our TTC right away. Uh, and then we need to deal with the root causes of the issue. We also need to bring back services to the TTC. We need to restore the services. We need to hire more people to be on the platforms from supervisors, from cleaners. And we need to deal with mental health issues and housing issues in the city. Putting in place a police department a division strictly for TTC that is coupled with a mental health unit and we need to bring presence back into the TTC fold so that when someone goes into a subway, for instance, they're going to be greeted by somebody and made felt comfortable. I believe that we need to have a safety blitz that, you know, really tells people um, what they should be looking for and, and also reassuring them that our transit system is safe. Uh, we also need to utilize our existing resources, frankly, uh, through Toronto Police. Uh, you know, we know these incidences have happened, so we have existing neighbourhood officers that could, you know, make sure that their presence is seen and, uh, and reassure the public that our transit system is safe. I know there's no simple solutions. There's a lot of uh, complexity with with the challenges the TCC is facing right now uh, but I think there is there is money available in an emergency reserve fund for these type of scenarios and we need to get those dollars deployed um, multidisciplinary teams addressing the mental health challenges addressing some of the challenges with substance abuse uh, you just have to spend time on transit right now and you can see all of these challenges so we need to get those resources to work right away all agree that it is a complicated issue, but each of the candidates with a different approach to the problem. That said, none of them at the helm just yet, and they'll have to wait until the by-election at the end of June to start putting solutions to the test. Mark McAllister, City News.